Yogurt time. Just finished checking the tops of the 2x2 jumper plates for damage. So those ones can be set aside. And so after everything's said and done, these are the ones left in uh, used condition, may have minor damage. And these will all be listed now. And so now I have to count them all. How I typically count uh, parts and quantity when I don't use my scale. I mean, I could use my scale for these, but sometimes it's just more fun to count and I don't want to have to figure out everything on the scale, all the weights and stuff like that. What I do is I get the pile over here. I've done most of them already. And then I go two, four, six, eight, ten. And then the tenth one I set on the side. And then, so every 10, nine go in the container, one gets put on the side. And then at the end, I count these all up and group them into groups of 10. And then I have however many left. And then, I, one second, I'll just do two, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. So then what I do is I can count these up, group these in groups of 10, then after that, I'll have exactly how many I have of these, and then I'll keep the, uh, in a separate pile, uh, however many of the single digits there are left, uh, so then there'll be and one. So it's like, for example, if I have 470 of these, because uh, that means I would have 47 of these, then I would just add one to the end. If I had five of these, it would be 475 and stuff like that. So I'll quickly count these up and then list them. I don't know what the odds are, but I actually guessed, actually, I think I guessed right. There's exactly 471 of these tiles. See, there's 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 470, 471. So then I have the listing on BrickLink open. I ha I always, uh, now what I do with the new method, which I've showed, I go, I write used condition may have minor damage, just so that there's no confusion about them being in like really good condition. Then I just go write the quantity 471. These typically sell for six cents a piece. So I list them for eight cents a piece because I go to about two cents uh, higher than what they typically sell for. They sell up to 88 cents a piece, but that's like very rare and stuff like that and i list uh, a little bit higher because i don't want to spend too much time pulling orders right now until every thing i have over there is listed because i've just got so much to list and so i'd rather spend the time listing it all right now and then once it's all listed i can then run sales to sell it faster and stuff like that and so then I'll, i can just go put all this stuff all together and mix it with this stuff and then i can grab a bag from up here and then i can put it all into a bag and then put it into a box and now they're all in a bag, and then I just confirm everything. Over here, it's box 158. Over here, it's the quantity of 471 at a price of eight cents a piece. And this is Canadian, so that's like probably five or six cents American. And so then I just confirm that this is box 158 here. Then I just grab the bag and put them in there. So if anyone needs uh, 471 of those, they're for sale now. But uh, uh, now I have to go to list the next thing, and I have to try and figure out what to list next now. Just finished listing, I think I already showed the 2x2 two two dark lift guy jumpers. Then I finished listing a whole bunch of 2x3 plates in blue and a couple in medium azure. And then I've got a whole bunch of them in the filler container. And then uh, I have to decide what to do next, getting someone to make sure that there's no spiders in the containers because they are in almost every container. So they'll be here soon and then I'll figure out which container to do next. And then I'll hopefully be able to get a show on the show on a show show on the road or however that saying goes for this next stuff. We got a selfie stick because we were trying to like get something to attach to the table for the time lapse for the YouTube shorts, but this I don't know why we thought this would work. And so then a selfie sticks I'm not sure if it's just inflation or whatnot, but this thing was like seven and a half bucks from a dollar store. So it's just crazy how the world is right now. And uh so then this here will go next to the my sister Springles. And then uh Oh, her salt pills will go on the side as well. And uh, what else? What's this thing here? Oh yeah, this is the tag from the selfie stick. Is there a price thing in here? No. Oh, that's cardboard, so that's recycle. And uh, we have to figure out what to list next. Hmm. I'm thinking, wait, are there any more two by three plates or am I actually finished with the two by three plates now? Nope, there's still dark blue tray at the bottom there. So I'm not done with the two by three plates. Hmm, I'll figure something out. So the new containers, which are the exact same brand packaging and everything as the old ones, 
don't stack. The one, the narrowness of the containers is different. You can't stack the old on the new, but you can put the new on the old, or it's the other way around. It's whack. See, these are connected almost seamlessly at the top there. Then you just swap it around. And then this here is basically as good as you can get. It's just weird. So uh, that's interesting. Just finished checking the 1x2 plates in transparent red for damage. These are the ones that will be listed with the new use definition. And these are ones that will go to filler. So now I'll get these guys listed. It might not look like much, but I finally got around to listing. I finally finished some other stuff and finally sat down and started listing. A little bit of the stuff on the table is brought upstairs, but I got a decent amount of stuff listed. I listed these ones, uh, these 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 and these were earlier today and so i finally got a decent amount of stuff listed also five of these drawers i filled up and then i've been filling a couple more up over here here and this one this one this one i put some more in same with that one so i have been finally able to get some work done and these ones are next up on the chopping block and if i'm not mistaken over here I believe, I'll have to confirm, I have a uh, chart somewhere, but I think these ones are Mayersk Blue, so that's nice. Is, oh, is this Mayersk Blue? This might be Mayersk Blue as well. I did get one Mayersk set uh, when I was getting a whole bunch of bulk, so uh, it's uh, for sure that I have some. I had listed some, I've sold it, no issues or anything like that, and uh, I'm going to put these in this container here. Uh, nope, that's the wrong container. This is for the ones with the tops. Um, right here is the one I need. And I uh, have a whole bunch of those from the Taj Mahal. I got that in the bulk lot as well. Sorry for that cut. I accidentally showed up a piece of private information. Uh, but I'm pretty sure in... It's not one of these drawers here. Um, I can't find it. But I know somewhere I have like a 4x4 four four tile or plate that has the four different blue colors that look somewhat similar. Well, it's got the normal blue, I think, which is easy to distinguish. But then it's got, like, the medium azure, Mayersk blue, and bright light blue, I want to say. But I can't remember offhand. And uh, I know I have a tile somewhere which I can use to compare them. But I'm, like, 99% sure that these are Mayersk blue. And I think they go for a couple bucks each, so that's nice. And so I was able to get a good amount of stuff listed. And uh, so the table is getting nice and clear. I did have... Uh, Someone come down and move some stuff between containers and stuff like that to get rid of all the spiders and find them. And they ended up finding like two or three living spiders at least. And then like half a dozen or a dozen pill bugs along with some other nasty bugs that I'm glad I didn't see. So definitely glad I had someone help with that and so I didn't have to see them. Because oh they're creepy. And uh, so then I uh, have all these containers here that have been checked for bugs and are free of bugs. And then I am bringing some containers upstairs this is just a floof not a bug and then i'm bringing i brought some containers upstairs and you bring yogurt as well and i'm bringing some armrests because tonight i am hoping to get some work done in the other room uh listing some lego counting and stuff like that um just before i go to bed because i stay up pretty late usually so uh I, I i like to work later into the day for me i typically call it a day around 2 30 in the morning or so and so if I can get some work done uh, in the time in between, then I'll gladly do that. And uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more done every day by putting, uh, doing some more work after I go up from the basement. So I brought uh, some of that stuff upstairs. And so then I might also bring up these cards here that are ready for photos on eBay because these ones, I need to create listings on eBay for them. It's a tedious process. It takes a long time. But if I uh, put a show on or something like that, while uploading all of these to eBay, like just the um, names and stuff like that. So I'd have to like type in Chancellor Palpatine, SW0540, Star Wars, what set it came in and stuff like that and figure out pricing. Then I have to do that for all of these ones here. It probably takes like two minutes a piece, which isn't long, but it's very repetitive and stuff like that. So I'll, I probably will bring these up and either tonight or another night, I'll work on that. So I'll just grab a container for these guys from over here and then put this container over here and then just basically just put everything into this container right here and then I'll bring this up as well and then whenever I have some time I'll work on that. I do have a minifigure that does not have a card yet so I'll leave that in here and then I've got 
a couple of other things in here that I'll just put on the side that I was also planning to create listings for. Uh, got a random torso, a staff. I'm going to leave the staff there because I was going to put a end on it first, but then this is one of the uh, Imperial Pilot torsos I was going to put on eBay. So then I'll put all that stuff there and this stuff will be safe for next time. And uh, then I'll put this on the pile as well. And then this stuff will go upstairs and then this is for yogurt time. Well, thank you to Bricklink again. This used to happen all the time. It hasn't happened in a while, but it literally says your ID or password mismatch, even when they're the exact same password you've used to log in a hundred times before. And then I even reset the password again. I had to, I used to reset it like every single week because it was always having this error. And then I reset it and then it says, your password is now being reset. You can now use this password to log into Bricklink. I go to Bricklink, type in my email, type in the brand new password that it literally said I can now use. I enter it, I enter it, and it says you aren't logged in. It is like it says ID or password mismatch, and you can't log in. It is irritating. I don't know why. It's it's it happens. I don't I don't know. It's just annoying. And then you just try it once more, and then it works completely fine, like nothing ever happened. It is just so weird. Like, I don't get, I, I don't understand coding or anything like that. And I'm talking a bit quiet because everyone else is kind of sleeping a little bit, or about to sleep. It's 12, 22 a.m. And, uh, but yeah, it, it just works completely fine after a few minutes. I, I don't know what causes it and stuff like that. I did first give it like five minutes because normally it just fixes itself. But this time there's five to 10 minutes have passed and it still wasn't working. So I just reset the password and it still wasn't working after that. And then I just tried it again and it worked no problem. Now I have to sign back in on my phone. That's definitely a uh, new fake I've seen. I can't say I've seen it before. It's Kazi, K-A-Z-I. A real Lego one on the right, a Kazi one on the left. They look very similar. Uh, even it's got a traditional Lego mold mark type thing. Wow, that is crazy. If it if I didn't only have four of this part, that one might have slipped past me. But uh, yeah, it's it's somewhat easy to see uh, here. So yeah, this one's not Lego. So yeah, then I'll just grab this guy and then let it focus. Put it there. And then looking at these other ones in person, this one's got a whole bunch of just stuff on it it's difficult to see in the video but uh that one will just go in the garbage slash filler container and then these two are the only ones that are going to get listed most likely it's now 1 23 p.m and i'm going to stop listing lego for the day i won't go to bed for a little while yet but uh i got a little bit of stuff listed not too much i got 756 of these i believe uh in flat silver listed uh, I got a couple of transparent uh, light blue one by one plates, uh, a couple other colors. These ones were like half dollar, dollar each, so that was nice. And these ones are individually bagged right now for some of them, except for this bag right here. Uh, but I'll just, uh, once I empty it, I'll just reuse the bags because these ones I uh, use easily. So I didn't get too, too much done, but I got a lot of the smaller ones from here done. And then. Uh, even if I get uh, just two or so bags of these done each day, that'll be uh, good progress and uh, stuff like that. I might end up uh, just counting, I mean just checking them for quality up here for these larger bags. And then just putting them back in their bag and bring them downstairs to the weigh scale to count them. Because it took like half an hour to count to these uh, flat silver one by ones. But I needed to do that because there was a lot of dark bluish gray ones mixed in here. And so I separated like 15 or so of them out of here. So it's not like that with the other colors and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll do these ones. I'll check them for quality up here. So then I'd be able to get a lot more done then. And then I'll just go downstairs and use my counting scale to count them because that'll just save a lot of time. And now it's the next day and so then all the parts I listed last night I didn't add any remarks so then I just go to the missing my remarks page uh, when I got down and then I just have all these uh, bags here and then I just grab the one item here and then I just confirm it's the right one then I just put it in that box then I'll grab my scanner and then I select the my remarks and then I scan it whenever it goes there it is and then I 
have the remarks there, then I can just press enter and then that one will be gone. And then I can work on all the rest and get everything uh, with remarks. And then I can get back to work on some other parts. Next up on the chopping block are the dark gray 2x3 plates and the light gray 2x3 plates. So I'm going to get these guys listed now. And uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long since there aren't too many of them. And then I think I'm going to be doing these clips next. So I'm going to be trying to do... Uh, I'm finally back in the listing mindset and I hope to get a lot today. So uh, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, well I mean... If I can get a lot done, then I'm going to try to, every time I finish a container, I'm going to just going to do a quick clip of what the next container is, just to give an overall view of how much I can try and get done today. And I'll also try and do timestamps. So it's 1.57 p.m. and I'm working on these plates right now. It's going to be yogurt time in like half an hour or so, so uh, that'll interfere with the overall time set and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to just see how much I can get listed today. And uh, I should be able to get at least all of this stuff listed. And I should be able to start getting a couple containers from that table listed as well. Basically, I went and explained it. I, I don't think I finished explaining it in a previous clip. Uh, but basically, an overall of how I price things is I only give a partial explanation before. If it's one cent to five cents, I do it one cent above the average six month sales. If it's five cents to 10 cents, I do it two cents above the average uh, six month sales. And if it's above 10 cents, I do it on a item by item basis. And basically I price things a bit above because I would rather uh, have stock take longer to sell so I can have more time to list. Because I mean, I've just got so much stuff to list. I don't have time to pull orders all day and stuff like that. And then that way I can get more stuff listed. And then once everything's listed, I can uh, hopefully start getting some uh, better prices because I'll have more time to pack orders and stuff like that. So that's basically just uh, wanted to better explain that because I... I Misexplained it in previous clips or stuff like that so i just wanted to clear that up because there's just confusing myself and stuff like that so it's cleared up a little bit now and i forgot to mention one more thing uh also for rarer parts like this here is a discontinued color so they don't make it anymore so it's not like it's gonna also flood the market anyone's gonna flood the market with them and stuff like that so then uh, pieces like this i would price more individually it goes for 15 cents new and seven cents used on average i mean it's sold way higher than that and sold way lower lower than that but then for something like this i would price it on a more unique level so this one i priced three cents above instead of two cents above and stuff like that it's a complicated thing on how i do it but i just like explaining how i price things and stuff like that so that's just an overall uh explanation and hopefully that way i'll be able to have some peace of mind knowing that i actually explained it because i was incorrectly explaining it before which was really confusing me and stuff like that so hopefully it won't bug me anymore uh whenever i try to explain it these light gray ones were a bit sneaky there was actually a surprising amount of like bluish gray ones uh, that were just faded, that were mixed in, like this one here, if you compare it side by side with a light gray one, it looks almost identical, just like a shade difference, not even a color difference, like, I know that's a bad explanation, but it doesn't look like it's light bluish gray and light gray, it just looks like light gray and, like, faded light gray, but then just comparing the overall look of it, like the, uh, the font size on the inside and uh lego logo and stuff like that you can easily tell that it's actually a light bluish gray same with the shape and design of the mold mark on that one as opposed to the old one it's different and uh so then yeah that's uh just faded light bluish gray not actually light gray so a decent amount of these are actually light bluish gray that we're mixing with the light gray so these all here are going to be filler stuff and these are the only true light gray ones that were in normal used condition that i can list yogurt time Alrighty, all the distractions are finally over had yogurt time played animal crossing for a little bit now i can get back to work so i'm now going to list these one by one horizontal clips and i don't think i'm mistaken but i think oh wait no do the horizontal i know okay one second let's look up right here let's see uh let's test my spelling uh h o r i z i n t a l Nope. Uh, let's see. Uh, horizontal. Looks the same. Close enough. Oh, and then I should add in clip. How did I... What? What is even with my keyboard? Okay, clip. Alrighty. So there is two versions of this clip. I don't think I'll be lucky... I don't think I'll be lucky enough that one of them isn't made in black, but uh, we'll check. Okay, no it isn't. Okay, so I'm going to have to compare... All of these for their separate versions. <sighs> this is not going to be fun. Clip straighter at tip.
clip more curved at tip. Like, clip. What? Like, I mean, I think that this here is the one version and this is the other version. I've listed these before. Uh, they're not nearly as bad as the vertical clips, but uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do what's called a pro game remove. I'm going to leave that one for later. I'm going to work on these guys next. 3.06 p.m. Time to list the next thing. These are 1x4 plates, and I believe these are in Mayersk blue. I'm going to quickly go and search it up real quick. I did have uh, the one set. I'll show it if I first confirm that these are in Mayersk blue. One moment, Mayersk blue right here, 90 cents a piece. And so then if I go sets, it should be from the Mayersk train line. Uh, possibly you're in several in several others, but yeah, this here is the set I had and I've uh, Had basically a whole bunch of the sticker parts. Uh, it was partially assembled I've already gotten a whole bunch of the tiles listed. Uh, I sold all the hats already and stuff like that So then yeah, these ones are I'm gonna compare them to a few other colors, but this here is definitely mayor's blue uh, the video will probably show it as a different color because I can't pick it up the same way, but or are these medium blue it is impossible to tell with these things. I'm gonna have to just leave these on the side. I'm just gonna put these things in this drawer right here until I can find back my color chart. I have no idea where that color chart went and I might have even disassembled it, but uh, those things are gonna stay there until I can find my color chart back. Oh wait, it can't be medium blue. This is medium blue. One moment. Let me grab these things back. Okay, this here is medium blue. Or is this bright light blue? There are so many blues in LIGO. But you can see the color difference for sure there. Um, yeah. Hmm. This is medium blue. This is dark azure. And this is dark blue. And then this is normal blue here. So yeah, this has to be medium. Uh, this has to be Mayersk blue. So yeah, I'm. It, there's no other option. Let's look at the colors real quick that it could be medium blue it's uh looks like that it's different so this is medium blue and it's not this one so it can't be that blue what other options are there there's bright light blue but that one is uh, very distinguishable and uh it's in used condition it's uh quite rare uh 271 for sale 53 of them sold and this is from an older one so is there any other blues dark azure is that one right there and it's not that uh, it's not violet. I'm pretty sure about that. Light aqua. Nope, that's not light aqua. I've seen light aqua, and that's definitely not it. Um, let's see. Medium azure. That one there, I know what it looks like, and it's... I don't have one right here, but I know what it looks like, and it is quite distinguished from this here. And then I've got some more medium azure. Uh, not medium azure. More Mayersk blue parts right here that I'll put right here real quick. So then let's just confirm these here. These are the same color. Uh, so that's that. I'm not seeing any. Oh yeah, this here is medium azure right here. So this is medium azure. It might not pick it up too well in the photo, in the video, but they are different colors for sure. And so it's not medium azure. Uh, and it's not medium blue. We already checked that one. Sky blue. Uh, this thing's even rarer than Marisk blue. So if someone uh, buys this and gets sky blue, uh, they wouldn't complain, but I'm going to just confirm I don't have that. Because if you look, now, this is probably one that wasn't actually released in a set. Connection's not secure. Yes, it is. I've gone to BrickLink before. Uh, so that one was sky blue. Yeah, unless I got uh, like a half dozen to a dozen copies of this set right here, I don't think I'm going to have that there. So then it's not that one. So it can't be sky blue. Then let's see. Sand blue. Well, I know it's not sand blue. That's a very distinguishable color. <clears throat> And so yeah, there's no other options. So that means that this part right here is Mayersk blue. So then I'll keep all the Mayersk blue stuff here. I'll put everything else on the side. This part was from drawer 149. This drawer part here was from the, was from this drawer over here. And these parts were from this container. These parts were from this container. And so yeah, this here is officially Mayersk blue. It's uh, always that one color that's a pain to try and confirm if you got it or not. So this is the end results. These ones here are in uh, normal used condition with only minor wear. And these ones here are in poor condition with bite marks or stuff like that. Let's see if I can actually 
showcases yeah that's all bite marks there there's some gouges and stuff like that so then these ones i'll list with the normal uh description of used condition may have minor damage and the rest of these all list as has multiple bite marks and heavy damage or something along those lines and list that stuff separately over there so i'll first list these and i'll make sure to put them in different drawers and everything I've now listed those ones, and now I'm on to the Mayersk Blue 1x4 tiles. These ones go for between $0.08 cents and $3.39 a piece. And so then I'll grab these guys here, dump them out, have another empty container, and put that thing on the stack over there. And now I'll check these ones for damage and list them. And uh, that's just a hair there. Let's move that out of the way. And so then we'll check these for quality and then list these. I'm thinking there's a little bit of discoloration i can't quite tell uh i'll have to compare it a little bit more but no i don't think it does well it, it's it's very close like let me see if i can line these up and get a oh and get a good angle but these ones might uh two or three of them might have some very minor discoloration let's see i'll line these guys up here like this, uh, they might not though. I don't know, it's quite difficult to tell. No, I think they're actually all good. Well, this one right here seems to be a trouble one. You can possibly see it a little bit in the video, but this one here is definitely a little bit uh, discolored. And let's see here, this one here as well. The rest of these look good. Or is it just because the one in this position here is always this colored looking, I can't tell. No, that's normal. Now it looks like that, it's, it's confusing. They aren't discolored, okay, it's, well, are they? I can't tell. I've now separated the ones with bite marks, which there was four of them that had bite marks from the others uh, that didn't have bite marks and were in normal use condition. So then I got the four uh, that were in normal condition and the ones that are the possibly uh, discolored ones a little bit, I put in this pile. And then ultimately I went with my normal remarks of use condition may have minor damage, but then I also wrote may have uh, minor discoloring. And so then I'll just uh, go with that with a quantity of four. And then I'll put it in different containers in the plates just so that there's no mix-ups. I'll probably put them in uh, drawer 145 and 146 or 145 and 140 or something like that. Next up on the chopping block is these 1x2 plates in dark azure. Temperatures are finally starting to cool down a bit here in Canada. It's now 20 degrees outside, still a bit warm, but there is finally a nice winter breeze type thing. And so there, it's finally a little bit cool down here. And uh, so that's really nice. And they always say that spiders enter the house uh, through open windows in winter because it's cold outside. But for me, it's always been the other way around. When it's winter, I have no bugs, but during the summer, I have all the bugs. So I can open the window, even though it's literally uh, underneath, uh, our deck, and it's in a concrete area that's filled with all the nastiest bugs on the planet, except they don't really seem to enter through there. Sometimes they're stuck in the windowsill and stuff like that, but they don't seem to really enter from there too much, and I haven't opened that window, or had that window open in ages, and, uh, we're still having bugs, so hopefully there isn't gonna be too many more bugs. Uh, I'll keep it open for a couple hours a day, probably, and, uh, hopefully get a little bit of fresh air down here, finally. Just finished checking the medium blue plates for damage, and this is so far the filler parts from the Dark Azure and medium blue, so I'm going to list these guys now, and then I'll list the next one. Currently it's 3.38 p.m. Just finished the medium azure, a whole bunch go in the filler, and then these ones are good, have 52 of them, and I'm going to put them into this drawer over here, so then I'll grab this container, move this like this, and carefully dump that into there, there's that one. Uh, one second, go here, review item, and then, uh, okay, so this is, um, 52 in drawer 149, alrighty, move this drawer around a little bit, and then put this drawer in the full drawer area, and then for, uh, personal question for myself, because I kept forgetting is, uh, in case you're curious, whenever I go to add inventory, I get this page here, and you see it always transforms a little bit, like, uh, let me try and get it one more time. I click inventory, watch close, it changes like that. You see how it changes. I downloaded a thing called Brick Tinker. That's what I was trying to remember last night, but basically you can enable a thing that basically, it, as far as I know, it's free and stuff, but basically it has some cool features on it. 
uh, that you can change. I add uh, a couple different ones and stuff like that. And so it actually, it's quite useful. So if you're a seller, try this uh, Brick Tinker thing. Uh, I'm on Opera GX, but it's uh, a Chrome extension, but Chrome extensions usually work on here. And then it just makes it so much easier to list because then you don't have like a million different options for what to choose from. You can just choose the stuff super simply and then list it. And uh, every now and then it bugs out a little bit and doesn't work, but then it, it usually works most of the time. So yeah, that's a, a good thing to remember. But I have to remember that name because I have to download that on my laptop upstairs because when I was listing uh, last night, I couldn't remember what it was called. And then I had this standard option and then it just makes it really weird and i think let's see here it's um streamlined operations i believe that's what the mode is called so if i turn that off and then i go over here and go to add inventory then it'll just have this standard page like look how confusing this page is this is what single-handedly turned me off of listing on bricklink uh when i first uh, got here i was like how do i do this what do i do and so like it took me a long time to actually start selling because i couldn't figure it out but uh if uh, it confuses you i just uh, need to turn streamline operations off exit out of this thing here and then exit this thing go add to inventory and then it'll be all nice and easy again now it's 4 11 p.m and i just finished with the one by two in transparent orange so then i'll just quickly scan in that container there eight cents a piece 181 of them and so then those guys go in there. They could have fit in a drawer, but I test fit it with an empty drawer I had and it was super close. So I was just like, I'm gonna leave it and put it in a bag. So that's done now. And so then that I can click add to inventory. I'm curious how many bricks I'm at now because I added a couple thousand recently. So let's check. So I'm still not at a quarter million bricks. I'm still making my way there, but I'm still far off. 14 and a half thousand lots, still not at, uh, the 15,000 mark. I don't think I've hit that yet and stuff like that. So yeah, then this here is so far all of the filler from all of the plates that have been listed. And so the next step, I think I'm going to work on these ones. Uh, I'm going to take a short break and then I'll be right back. But it's been on a roll. It's 4, 12 p.m. and we've gotten so much listed here uh, in comparison to other days. So that's really nice. But I think it has something to do with the window. I know I'm probably a weird uh, and odd one out here, but the fresh breeze that you get when uh, fall or winter begins, or even throughout the winter, that fresh breeze that you get is just energizes me so much. And I can just get so much work done when it's uh, finally here. The window's not open too much, but it's uh, at the perfect angle to right where I work. So it is a nice breeze. I will open it a little bit more. My dad just left here. He doesn't uh, like the cold too much. And uh, so I'll open it a little bit more now, uh, just over here. Hopefully there's no bugs there. And then move this thing here. It's got a huge lock, so it can't really open more than that. Uh, like a physical lock thing, it's confusing. And uh, so then that's a nice breeze. And I'm just able to get so much work done with that. And then my dad's uh, finished checking these containers over here for bugs. Uh, he found like uh, almost half a dozen, I want to say, bugs. Again, thankfully there's no living spiders or anything like that. Uh, but he did find uh, a couple more pill bugs and stuff like that. And uh, so then that's all there. And then, yeah, it's uh, table's getting quite empty now. So then if I move this stuff to the side over here, like this, and uh, if you count this stuff as a side, I don't really feel like moving that. Um, and no, not this stuff. Maybe the stack as well. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, some of this one stack from here and up, but the stuff on the right side of the table is ready for me to list. And the stuff on the left side of the table needs to be sorted. And uh, this here is ready for me to list. I've got a container-ish full upstairs that I need to list that's been sorted. And then over here, got this stuff over here on the floor that needs to be stacked and sorted by color. And then I can check it for damage and list it. Then I got all these plates. It's a lot of work for sure, but it's uh, finally able to move around a lot nicer now because uh, I finally got the new sorting method. And uh, apparently there's a box right here, apparently. And uh, so yeah, there's lots of stuff finally getting done. I think I just needed to wait for winter to uh, get here so I could uh, get some work done finally. Oh, uh, well, it's not, it's fall, but it's not quite fall yet. It's almost fall, but it feels like fall and stuff like that. So this is an update on the Technic 
uh, the container. This is the top one. It's getting down there now. It's uh, decent progress being made. Let's see if I can move this here. And then that's the container underneath. Still full, but then there's just a lot of stuff there. Uh, good progress being made here. There's just a lot of pins and everything like that. And so then if I go over here, this here is the uh, container. It doesn't look like it's getting too much fuller but it is and this here is all the sorted technic in this 80 liter tote it's getting a bit full and my mom just told me that the freezer can't open because this thing was i didn't know what she was talking about till now let's try to fix this uh that's not working huh let's see here if i move this at a better angle and then i move this thing here if i inch it forward to this side like this then that would take up a bit less room there. And then, aha, now the freezer can open properly. So that's nice. And so, yeah, progress is finally getting done in the store. Just finished listing the transparent neon green 1x2 plates. And now I'm on to the red 1x2 plates. My dad just checked these for spiders and stuff like that. So hopefully there's no spiders in here. But if I'm listing and one of these spiders is here, I'm calling it quits for the next hour. Uh, something like that. So time to list these guys. It's now 5.55 p.m. And I finally finished the 1x2 in red plates. These on the top are all garbage slash filler. And then the ones at the bottom are the ones in normal used condition. There is a lot of them that were just horrendous condition. A lot of these had bad fading and stuff like that from... Because a lot of them are older ones and stuff like that. So I'll keep that aside. And for these ones, I'm going to use the counting scale to count them. But then I'm going to list all of these guys. And then those guys will be all filler. Got these guys on the counting scale. And it says there's 517 of them. So I created a listing and put 500 as the quantity. Now I'm going to bag them up. And then I'll put them away. And then count the uh, damaged ones over there. I've got them all bagged up now, it's a quite a decent amount of them in here, so then I just choose which container, I'll put them in this one on the side, here, then click enter, then quantity of 500 at 5 cents a piece, used condition, may have minor damage, in two box 159, there's those ones all done now, now I can uh, add to inventory, then exit out of here, then I can go color information or color info, then click on my filler one, and then, so I currently have 2469, so 2469 plus, and then I grab these ones. So it says in the damaged one, I have 715, so then I'll just do plus 700. And so then it says 3169, so then I'll change this here to 3169, and then it'll loading inventory data. Alrighty. So now I've got that new quantity of them. And then these ones go into box 142, which is right over here. So then I'll move these containers off of the top, take that lid off, then grab all of these guys here. Uh, put this, grab this with my other hand. Uh, one moment, just grab the camera a bit better. Alrighty, and then all of those guys go into there. And then, oh, well, that container fell. Then these guys now go into the filler 1x2 plates container. If anyone needs 3,169 1x2 fillers, uh, you know where to get them. Two cents a piece Canadian, so it's like, what, 1.5 cents American? And hey, if you message me, I might even give you a discount. But then uh, the thing is, with the flat rate shipping, you're getting a pretty dis good discount for this. But yeah, there is a, quite a few of these guys now, and I'm not even done. I still have... Um, one by twos in dark bluish gray, reddish brown, if that's one by twos. Then I've got whites at the bottom and uh, possibly black as well. I can't see from here. And so yeah, there's still a lot to go. Oh no, I already did black. You can already see them. Oh no, that's from print blue. Oh, yeah, here's black. So I already did the black then, if it focuses. Yeah, there's that. So yeah, all of these guys are listed now. And then I can put all this away. And now that's all for the red 1x2 plates, all listed. It's now 7.19 p.m. And I just finished with the 1x3 plates in green. These ones are in normal use condition and these ones are for filler. 
Now there's uh, 97 of them, so that was nice at nine cents a piece. And so then I just, uh, this here looks like it might be just too much for a drawer. So, but in that case, I can just go over here. I can grab a drawer, uh, empty one, and then, well, it can fit in a drawer surprisingly well, actually. So is there any drawer here that that would be optimal for? You know what? I think this drawer is perfect. Got a few things on the bottom, but it should be able to handle it. So let's dump this into here. Like this. Alrighty. Perfect. Now it's fit in that drawer. Then I can just grab my trusty scanner. Scan that drawer in. This drawer is 145 and it's getting full. Put it with all the other full drawers over there. And then I can confirm I have everything right. Drawer 145, 97, 9 cents a piece, used condition, and add to inventory. So that's done. And what to work on next? I'm thinking maybe these ones. Yeah, I'll work on these ones next. I'll try and get a couple one by three up while I have the page up. And then I can list all the other things as filler at the same time. And uh, so yeah, then I'll work on that now. And uh I feel like I was going to say something, but I can't remember it. So if I remember, I'll do another clip. It's now 7.40 p.m. and I just finished the 1x3 black plates. And these are the ones in good condition and these are the filler ones. And I'm thinking that there should be another 1x3 container around here. But I don't see it easily. So I'm... Oh wait, is this... No, that's 1x4. So I'm probably going to do some 1x4s next. Just finished the 1x4 plates in green. I got all these ones in good condition and these ones in filler condition. So I'm currently creating the BrickLink listing and then I'm probably going to do them in orange. Just finished the orange 1x4 plates. It's currently 8.58 p.m. And uh, once this one's done, I think I'm gonna do the dark blue 1x4 plates next. And then after that, I don't quite know what I'm going to do. I might do the 2x3 plates in yellow after that. I'm going to save the clips for sometime in the future when I have the willpower to do that. It's now 9.24 and I just finished the dark blue 1x4 plates. This is now my filler of 1x4 plates from uh, since supper time. I did also have 1x3 which I emptied, emptied earlier. And so there's that one. So then I'm going to count and list these dark blue ones now. And then I'm going to do the lime ones. And then I think I'm going to call it for a day and help my dad out with the Technic sorting. Because sometimes there's a few that, you know, Technic's like really weird for category wise. There's just so many different things. And so a lot of them are more complicated. So I'm going to help with that for like 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, then I'm going to call it a day for today. And then I'll probably list a little bit more tonight and I'll record then. It's currently 9.43 p.m. I just finished the Lime 1x4s, and they had a lot of bad ones in them as opposed to some of the other colors. So this is the filler 1x4 plates that I've gotten now. So I'll use the counting scale on those guys, and now I'm going to list these Lime 1x4s. I've now updated the quantity to 970 for 1x4 plates in filler condition. First turn off the scale, then grab these. I added, uh, I removed 25 from the total as a rounding just in case anything was off and so now i can go here and dump them there's all those ones now i can move them around a little bit put the lid back on and so this here is all the colors in one more one by four that i've done so far there are still a lot of one by fours left to go so that's going to be a lot of stuff to do still, but that's fine. I'll move these filler containers back over here and put them right there. And then put this box back up here and then this over here. And then I'm just going to leave this. Well, I'm going to push this back a little bit here. I have to remember to close the window tonight. And oh, that's an empty container. So I'll put that to the side. Move these containers around so I have a little bit of room for packing orders tomorrow. I didn't pull any orders tonight because it's one of the slowest sales days I've had in a very long time. I think I have two orders to pull. I have one on eBay, one on Brick Owl. I have several on BrickLink, but they aren't paid, uh, even though the one it's been several days. And it's really rare for me on BrickLink to have orders that don't go paid. And both of these are from buyers who have decent feedback and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that they'll pay. 
but uh, I know sales have been slow because I had been slacking off before these uh, last two days. And now I'm going, I'm getting back in the rhythm of listing again. And so hopefully sales should start to increase once I actually get back into the rhythm of listing. And uh, I got lots of stuff to list. So it's entirely my fault for the lack of sales lately. And so I just need a list, 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 list and get through the backlog and everything like that. So I can hopefully transform the store to mostly a new, new, new brick store. And uh, yeah, there's just so much stuff to list all the time and so much to do no time to do it this is the third time tonight now that my wheel has fallen off of my chair let's see if i can do this uh with one hand on the camera all righty i've now put the wheel back on it's the third time tonight but now this chair is like completely warped to the one side it's uh at the end of its life but uh probably get another couple months or year out of it hopefully but time to close the window without auto lock which is always nice close the curtain just so bugs can't uh look inside and decide that they want to move in as soon as it opens up tomorrow grab my headphones then start turning off all the lights and then calling it a day from working in the basement but i'm going to have a snack and then i'm going to go upstairs and i'm going to work upstairs yes i know i don't really have a good separation of work and personal life work is my personal life right now for the most part so uh i'll just try and get more work done then just started working upstairs it's now 12 30 a.m i was working on these transparent pink transparent dark pink plates found a couple damaged ones and i'm thinking i got all of the damaged ones out of here now got some good lighting over here um so yeah i think i've got most of the stuff got to stay quiet because other people are trying to sleep right now and uh most of this stuff looks good now and so then i'll put this stuff back in the bag over here and then uh basically what i'm doing right now is i'm checking all of the plates for damage and then i'll put them back in their bags and put them in a container and then tomorrow when i get to work i can just use the counting scale and count all of them really quickly and i've just got a whole bunch of different bags filled with them and so yeah that's what i'm going to be working on uh for probably the next half hour to an hour tonight my question is how does one even start to go about this these are all used black one by one plates there's just thousands of them like, I mean, realistically, uh, these things are, like, almost impossible to, uh, get, uh, good quality for. It's, it's realistically, you can't pick, pick each one. Oh, that's the fake one. What are the odds of that? Picked up a fake one right off the bat. And so, yeah, and you keep an eye out for fake ones and try and find the ones with damage. But when you have thousands, oh, is this a pearl dark gray? Yeah, that's a pearl dark gray mixed in there. Put that on the side. But, yeah, realistically, when you have thousands of, oh, here's another pearl dark gray. That's whack um thousands of used plates is that another one yeah i lost oh yeah three, three. Huh, three pearl dark gray sorry i'm getting sidetracked well here's another one huh who knows um but yeah when you have thousands of used one by one plates especially round ones and uh, i know square ones are usually you don't have them in quite as high of a quantity but here's another fake one uh they're like really difficult to get good quality for because there's just you can miss the right angle when you're checking them for damage and damage doesn't slip by it's just a pain and another fake one well see that one out and so yeah these ones here it's going to take a while but i think what i'm going to do oh here's another fake one okay i should stop looking while i'm recording um but what i should probably do is just grab like a handful of them and then check them uh quickly uh, of what their overall condition is then put them in a container and uh just go about doing it that way because that's realistically probably the only way i can get the overall best uh look at them because otherwise i'll be checking the same few on the top over and over again if i just scan through it like this and stuff like that oh this one is nasty i don't know if it'll focus yet look how nasty that thing is that's still on my garbage container and stuff like that so yeah then i think that's what i'm going to do for these black ones and also for most of the other ones because yeah some of these are just as big of a bag as this one here so yeah it's definitely going to take a while it's now 1 19 a.m and i have finally 
finished with these one by one plates in black. I dumped the last of them into here. So I ended up with these ones in normal use condition. Oh, undoubtedly that there's, it's all, it's basically almost a fact at this point that there's going to be a couple damaged ones that slip through and maybe one fake slip through, but I made absolutely sure I found every fake I could. I think I removed at least 25, probably closer to 35 fakes from this uh, stuff over here. So yeah, it's uh, for sure there's uh, hopefully none, but uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if one of them somehow slipped through, but I'm almost certain that none did. And, but yeah, with this many of them, it's almost an inevitable possibility. And then I removed all of these damaged ones from it. And overall, these were all of the either open stud versions or pearl dark gray versions. And so then these ones were just put them in the garbage container over there. I threw the fakes directly in the garbage, but then I put the damaged ones in the garbage container, even though the garbage container is also going to go right in the garbage over there. So I don't know why I separated all that stuff, but uh, yeah, that's all that. So then I'm going to quickly glance at it a little bit as I put it in back into the bag, and then this will get added to the pile for going down in the morning. I've got like maybe 10 minutes tops left, so I might do a small bag and then I'll call it a day. It's 1.25 a.m. now, and I decided I'm not going to do any more. I got these two listed, so I'll just make sure to bring these, uh, not listed, uh, check for damage. So I'll make sure to bring these two down, but I won't be doing any more work tonight. I'm going to call it a day. I won't go to bed for a while yet, but uh, I'm calling it a day for work now. I uh, recently purchased, uh, one moment, let me get it up here. I was browsing around, although I don't have too much money right now because uh, I had a whole bunch of tax stuff. I did end up buying one of these Monster Fighter promotional poly bags. It's 50 bucks, which is about what it normally goes for. Um, but personally, I'm just rather curious. I mean, it says there's 12 pieces and this these items in the bottom make up 11 and this uh, presumably sticker sheet makes up a 12th. And so I'm just curious exactly what's in here because this item, it uh, hasn't been inventory and it was released in 2012. So it's been there for a while and I've seen this listing so many times and it keeps saying no inventory for it. So I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to just buy this set and inventory it. And uh, basically, unless this sticker sheet here sells for like 45 bucks, it's like basically impossible to get your money back for this thing. So uh, we'll see what it is because this, it looks, it, in the photo, it makes you think it's like a glow in the dark web. But in reality, I'm like 99% sure it's just a white web. If it is glow in the dark, that would be really cool because then I could make my money back because there's none for sale or sold of that. But it's extremely unlikely. And so that's like half a dollar. That's like 20 cents. That one's like a dollar. That's like eight cents. That's a uh, five point green crystal. That's probably like a dollar. And the skeleton there, probably two, maybe three bucks uh on a good day and then it's just a couple sticker cards so yeah overall it's probably not uh worth too much but it's cool to get one of those and i think that's everything for today so uh the next clip will be tomorrow i was just about to start packing orders but then had one thing sell from the ebay room and we're gonna see if we can get it it's not over here no it's in a difficult to reach spot Let's try and navigate this area. Just sold this Texas Instruments calculator right here for twelve and a half dollars plus shipping and tax. Well, I think our van is uh, not going too well. Yeah, something's not right. So uh, we have a family friend who's good at car stuff. We called them though. There's been no response. We're probably going to call CAA. And uh, then that's our car insurance thing or something like that. And then uh, they'll hop by. But since it's a shipping day, I'm going to bring these to my local mailbox and drop them off. And it'll take a few more days to get delivered to the customers. But I don't have a car, so I can't exactly make it to the larger center. So this one won't get picked up till the next uh, business day. And today is a Friday. so And Monday is going to be a holiday for the Queen's Morning Day. So it'll, well, actually it's federal workers. So yeah, it's going to be confusing, but it's, it's going to be slightly delayed, but there's not really much I can do because our vehicle's broken. Just got back from dropping off the stuff at my local mailbox and now it's yogurt time. 
these are the one by one plates from yesterday or last night or earlier this morning i should say uh that i was in a previous clip there's 1848 all this 1800 just finished the yellow two by three plates and then i'm going to see what i want to list next i'm not thinking that there's too many more two by three plates left i'm looking but i'm not seeing many more so i might end up doing these one by four tiles next i think i did spot a couple more two by three plates yep so there's some black two by three plates here but i think that's the last of the two by three plates and i'll finally be done with those because looking here at box 146 which is my filler box for two by three plates i can see pretty much every other color already in this box so that means every color in here i've already listed and so i'm not seeing any major colors missing uh there's dark gray dark bluish gray uh everything as far as i can see is there a dark bluish gray or is that just dark gray huh is there a dark bluish gray one here too somewhere i'm not seeing it i think it's just all hidden underneath let's move this a little bit yeah there might just there just might not have been that much dark bluish gray i don't know but uh if i find that in the future i'll list it then but then i'm gonna get the black two by three plates listed and then i think i'm gonna work on the tiles this is all the filler stuff from the yellow plates I was going to list them, but then when I looked up here, I saw those, so I'll get those guys listed first. And, uh, yeah, then I, we have someone coming by pretty soon for our car to take a look at it, or van, I should say. And, uh, so hopefully they'll be able to figure something out. They might even be here already, I don't know. I was walking upstairs, and then all of a sudden I, uh, realized I kicked the wheel again, so it looks like the wheel fell off the chair again. New battery in, let's see if it works. And the moment of truth... Yeah, it seems to work. The new battery costed over 250 bucks, but the good news is we got 91 cents in reward money at Canadian Tire for it. My sister's digging out the thing on Animal Crossing, and it kind of reminds me of when, you remember that one time that they put a spider on, like, meth or something, and then it made a web? And it was, like, really weird how they made the web. It looks really wacky how it's being dug out here. Just finished the 2x3 plates in black. These are all the ones in normal use condition. And then this container and the top half of this container are the filler ones. <clears throat> so I'm going to count them now on the counting scale and get it listed. Just put the 2x3 plates in black in normal use condition on the scale. There's 274 of them. So I think I'm going to write 265 for the quantity of those. Now I'm going to quickly bag these guys up. They're now all in a bag, so then, actually, you know what, I think these boxes might be getting a bit full, but I think I can get it in this box if I move things around a little bit. Alright, this box will now be full with that in it, so then I'll turn this on, then scan it into the system, press enter, and now that's 265 of them, 8, eight cents a piece. Now I can click add to inventory, then I can exit out of that, and then I can go back here, color info, not applicable for my filler page. And then I can grab all of these guys over here. Then I can grab it and dump the first one in, and then dump the second one in, and then put my empty container back over there. So then it says we got 363 of these. I'm thinking I'm going to add 340 because there can be a lot of variation because those things have lots of damage. So then 340 plus 826. So 340 plus 826. So then we'll have 1,166 of those. 1,166. And those go into box 146. So then I'll go over here, put this thing on the side. And then grab this guy, put him over here, take the lid off, grab this box, dump it inside, and then I can put the lid back on, and then I'm going to check to see if I have already, actually I'll do that real quick here, um, I just want to first confirm, what's my math right on that, uh, 826 or something like that, plus... Three, four, oh, yeah, okay, so it was right. I thought I misread the number, but I didn't. So then I can just go back to the part number and then go over here, dark bluish gray right here. I have not listed these guys in used condition yet. I mean, I might have and sold them all, but I don't think I did. So that means I can't put this thing away yet. I'm gonna put it right back on the stack of filler. But once I find the dark bluish gray, they're Probably some are super obvious and I'm just super blind. Is that even them right here? No, that's some legs. 
Huh, I, I don't know where these 2x3 dark blue fairy plates are. I'll have to find them. Or wait, are they right under here? Oh wait, I missed it. There's another container of black 2x3 plates. How did I miss that? What? Oh, and here's the dark bluish gray ones. Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually quickly list these guys. And uh, then I'm going to have to also list the white ones because apparently I haven't done that yet. And then there's several containers of white ones. Over here's another one. And then there's the dark bluish gray ones. So I still have lots more of those things to go. So I don't know how I missed that. So then I'll quickly get these guys listed. And then I'll probably list a couple of these train base plates first or next, and then I'll probably do some tiles, and I'll deal with those ones either later today or another day. Just finished with the black 2x3 plates. I had to use a new bag for the ones I put in this container uh, from the normal use condition, and then I have these ones for the filler again. So then I'll go back to the filler container over here. Oh, I forgot to put the scale off, so I'll quickly turn that off. And then I'll take the lid back off of this guy here. Then I'll grab these, dump those back in. That's all filler. Put the lid back on on that, put this back, and yep, I was right. The wheel fell off on the chair again. Next, I'm going to quickly list these guys. Let's see if we can find the part number hidden somewhere on this plate. It's at the end up here. I'll see if I can show it in the video. Nine, oh wait, that's, well, who knows? What was it? Nine, two, three, four, oh, so I'll type in nine, two, three, four, oh. Alrighty, let's see how much these guys go for. Um, 923, nope, there's no other variants with the same number. So the black ones go for between three and six bucks. And then the white ones go for between two and six bucks as well, basically. Dark blue screen doesn't exist. All right, so these are what these ones are. Let's see what they're from. Only in three sets. That's surprising. Uh, so then, okay, so the white ones are from this electric train. And the other ones from the Hogwarts Express and the other trains. Surprised that they aren't worth a bit more because those all seem like uh, pretty desirable sets. Let's quickly get those up. How much do they go for new? Only 235. That's a bit surprising for a train set from 2010. But I mean, then again, it is only 650 pieces. And this one, 309. That's about more normal. And this old Harry Potter train goes for 240. So that's about normal for that, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I guess it's a little bit lower than I would have thought for these ones, but that's fine. I'll get these guys listed. And I had these on the table for a while now because I had them before, but uh, I uh, had a different mold variation of these. And so I had them in different containers so I couldn't list them because then they would be in the same containers. And then, then I might get things mixed up. So now I finally have containers here and remember that I still had to list those. So then I'll probably put most of them in this container. I might be able to put one or two on the sides of this container over here and stuff. But then I'll try and get these guys listed. And then after that, these two containers will be full. I can put them away and get two new containers for uh, shoe boxes for listing used parts. It's a good thing I was double checking because there's like these ones here, one's yellowed a little bit and one isn't. So why are they uh, not the same if they're from the same set? And then I looked and they're actually, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but one of them is actually um, 92088, no, 88026. 888206, unless I'm reading that upside down, 88026, let's look that up, put a star at the end, nope, okay, what am I, how am I reading it wrong, let's see here, so it is 92088, 92088, uh, one second, that's 92088, alright, so then that's this one here, and it is in white, and so that one's only between $1.70 and $3, so that was even less valuable. So that's crazy. So yeah, this one is from a Grand Prix truck. So that's interesting. Let's see. You can see that there's a uh, mold variation between these two here. They're different designs. So let's see. So this one looks like this one. I'll still compare all the part numbers off camera. But then it looks like it's only this one here that is separate. And this is the one that is slightly yellowed. I think you can see it a little bit in the video. It's a bit yellowed. So I'll make sure to describe that. And is it also perhaps a bit warped? Uh, some minor warping. I don't even know if that's like mentionable worthy because it's... I'll probably still mention it. it might, uh, yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it's quite difficult to see probably in the video. You can see me pushing down a bit, probably, but minor warping. So yeah, I'll probably list this like has minor med slash medium damage, uh, some yellowing and a little bit of warping or something along those lines. 
but I just realized that this vlog is probably going to be a super long vlog. I'm finally getting back to working on a whole bunch of Lego and stuff like that. And so either I'm going to cut down on all the recording all the stuff uh, that I'm doing because it takes so long or I'm going to have to start releasing vlogs more often. I don't know what to do. If uh, you think I'm putting too many clips of uh, the same stuff in the vlog, uh, let me know and then I'll probably start doing less clips. But if uh, you like me uh, showing everything more uh, directly like I tried to do for this vlog, uh, let me know and I might end up releasing uh, vlogs a little bit more often. I don't know, but uh, this past uh, few days, I feel like I've recorded almost an hour of footage. So I don't know if this vlog's going to pass an hour. Hopefully it doesn't because it'll take forever to edit, but who knows. And again, the wheel fell off. How many times? This has got to be like the fifth time today alone I've had to put the wheel back. Let's see if I... No, nah, I can't really do it. But you can possibly see there's like a metal thing over here where it's supposed to connect to. I don't know much about how any of this stuff works. At one point, we were putting a toothpick that we would split in half in here. And then that would like the friction would hold it together. But every now and then that falls out and it's a pain to add a new one. So I don't know if we're going to have to do that again. Update number three. It's actually three versions. There's one with thin holes, square holes with the bricks, and just square holes with no bricks or side supports. So I have to make sure to put them all separately in different containers. These two will probably go in one container and these will probably go in one container. Just finished listing these plates, uh, train plates. Uh, I got two in this container and three in this container. And so these containers are now full. So then I'll stack these up. Then I'll bring these containers. Actually, the one thing I always do before you put stuff away is always make sure you go inventory, scroll down. Is there anything missing my remarks? Check that, click go, and nothing's missing remarks. Okay, that's good. Now I can grab these boxes and then I can go and hopefully not drop them. And then go back to this area, set them here for a second on this stuff. And put box 159 there. First confirm. Yeah, it goes about there. And then box 158 here. Is 157 supposed to be around here somewhere? It looks like it might be. So this is actually supposed to go over here. And this one over here. So then I'll grab box 160. And I'll grab box 161. Oh, I thought I saw a huge spider in there for a minute. Oh, that was scary. Oh, but it's not there. So we don't have to worry about that. Oh, well, is there? Uh... It's not a spider. Okay, I think that's just some plastic. Alrighty, so no spider. That's a win. Now I can just take these lids off over here. <clears throat> then just stack those lids up. Put the lids in the lid stack thing over here. And now I've got 160 and 161 that I'll put right here. Turn them around so I can access the barcodes. And now I can get back to listing with empty containers. I was just sitting down and I heard something fall. Looks like the wheel fell off again. Just finished the 1x4 green tiles. There ended up being 53 of them in good condition. There's a lot of badly damaged ones. Tiles are notorious for always being in bad condition. So these ones, let me just reselect the remarks thing over here. Then I'll put these guys into this drawer 154. And then I'm going to get to some 1x2 plates again. It's currently 8.32 p.m. and I have been working on a whole bunch of 1x2 plates I've gotten it done in a whole bunch of different colors now. Uh, this here is all the filler from all of them and I just set these for, I think they're either just normal pink or uh, salmon because uh, the other pink for those who might not know the one version is called dark pink and the other one's called bright pink so I'm not sure if this is the original pink or salmon or something like that and then I've got all these other one by twos that I have to do still and then after that I think all of these small containers of one by two plates might finally be done yeah, I'm not seeing any more anywhere else. Or is that? Nope, those are modified ones. Okay, so I think that'll be the last of the 1x2 plates in small containers. Most of these here are still filled with plates. I think all of them actually are. And this is filled with plates, that's filled with plates. But at least good progress is finally being made on a lot of these. So then I still have some 2x3 white plates and uh, just a whole bunch of other stuff left. Wait, is this more tiles? Oh yeah, this entire stack is still tiles in the middle here, either them for the top few. And wait, is this more plates? Oh, wait, here's more 1x2 plates. Okay, I guess I'm not done the 1x2 plates. Okay, so there's a lot more 1x2 plates left to go, but uh, progress is finally being made. Scratch that.
two wheels fell off the chair now. So uh, I wonder how I'm actually sitting on that with three wheels and it wasn't falling over earlier. This is definitely a rather unique chair. Gotta say, surprised it's lost this long. Let's see if I can sit down and the entire thing doesn't fall over. And somehow is balancing decently well with three wheels. Can't say I know all the physics behind that. I mean, two in front, one behind. So I guess as long as I don't move around too much. But let's see. Okay, normally, well, the wheels are now a little bit spun. Not too much. And if I do lean a bit to the side, it falls. And so, uh, yeah, I should just not uh, try and move around much. Well, things on BrickLink keep getting crazier and crazier. Someone just found this torso, and apparently the torso has a quantity of zero. It's got two hands, one set of arms, but no torso. That is really confusing, because if you go um, inventory with zero quantity, this person posted, and then if you click on the link, it's just no quantity in it. Like, how does that even get approved through the system? How does it get added to the inventory, but with zero quantity? Oh, man, this Bricklink catalog is just a masterpiece. Don't you agree? Same with this set here, that Lego released. Oh, man, that price tag on that thing is, oh, man, good enough to give someone a heart attack. So now we got the chair flipped upside down, and we can see all the missing wheels. And this is how they look, the attachment thing. So we'll see if we can get these things attached again. This wheel is um like completely pierced through the plastic. Like you can see there's like a crack there and it's all bent on the inside. And it's on an angle on this one as opposed to the other ones which are normal. And so this might be uh, an, an issue as well. So in reality, I might be down to two wheels. So the third wheel now popped off, so we are now down to two wheels. I'm trying to convince my parents that we should perhaps order a new chair, but they're still convinced we should try and fix it. Well, we fixed the chair, but then I sat on it, and then one of the wheels popped off again. So we're going to be looking at some chair options now. Ultimately, we decided uh, currently not to get another chair, and I'll just stick with this one, because it seems like any chair with wheels doesn't uh, seem to last too long for me, so hopefully this solid metal chair that we've had for quite a while will last a little bit longer. I've now have surpassed over 100 lots of just 1x2 plates. That's crazy. Like, I mean, that means over 100 listings. I know for some of these uh, ones over here that were recently listed, I am going to be having slight duplicate lots for some of them but not quite because the condition isn't exactly the same just with the whole new system and so hopefully i am uh this is going to be the last of you so hopefully i'll be able to solve that over the next year or two once stuff sells and stuff like that but then i've just got these one by two plates that i have to list and then after that and these are just the ones I'm going to list in the filler condition. There's like four pink ones. So they're like 35 cents to five bucks. Actually, I think they sold as high as like 11 bucks each. But they're all damaged, so they're all filler. And so then after this here, I think that there's uh, one, two, three. What's this? Uh, yeah, I think there's only three one by two plate colors left. And then, oh yeah, wait, and then this entire stack, or wait, no, this entire stack, and then I'm going to be down the one by two plates. So, slowly making progress, but I'm going to use the counting scale for these guys here, because I really don't feel like counting. I'm assuming there's going to be close to four or five hundred in here, based off of past experience, so let's just see right here. Uh, tear, see, tear, count... Oh wait, it went to point one again, so tear, see, tear, that thing. Alrighty, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. Alright, so there is ten. And I know it's not the most accurate, but that's why I remove some at the end so yeah there's 618 so i'm just gonna add 600 to it and so then i just go here not applicable so that just changed that to a seven so i've now got 3700 filler one by two plates and these are for box 142 which is right on top so then i can just bring this over pop the lid off grab this container 
and dump it in. This is all filler 1x2 plates. There is just so many of them. It's absolutely crazy how many there are. But yeah, <laughs> I think uh, once everything's gone, I might just put, like, everything's done on the, uh, all the used stuff is listed. I might just put all these things at, like, one cent each. Most of them are at two or three cents each for the filler, depending on the size of the plate. But I might just put them at, like, one cent a piece. And since it's flat rate, seven and a half dollars shipping is currently the maximum. Although when the new rules change on BrickLink, uh, for tax stuff, that is likely going up to ten bucks because all the postage rates have been increasing lately. Um, so still decently flat rate shipping. I'm probably going to be losing money on it, but if I can get all these gone, I'd put it so it'd be a bulk quantity. You have to buy all of them, but at, at just like one cent or even like three fourths of a cent or something like that, just to get all these guys gone. I'd probably lose money ultimately uh, because of shipping, depending on where it goes. But if I can get all those gone in one thing, that'd be nice. And so yeah, then that's all that. And I'm calling it a day now. It is basically 10 p.m. I'm just going to finish some things up over here, turn the scale back off, and I have to put those drawers away, and there's the one wheel from the uh, chair over there. But then if I go to inventory, let's see, is anything missing my remarks? Let's click on that, click go, nothing's missing my remarks, so that means that all of these drawers, well, five drawers, I can just pick these up, and then I'll only put one away on camera, but then 157, that'd be 987 here, and then I can just put all these drawers away. And then once that's done, I just need to count how many new drawers I'm going to need to fill up this area up here. So it'd be like two, four, five drawers. So I'll get five more drawers, put those up top. I mean, I could have just reverse counted how many drawers I had there, but that would have been too easy. And so then I'll put, uh, just start putting some stuff away and try to get all this done. That was an interesting order. They ordered one bush and they paid parcel shipping on it because in Canada they can't go letter mail. So they ended up paying $18.38 for just one bush. That's just absolutely crazy. I was looking in the previously sold of this set, uh, not previously sold, uh, things that previously came in and it came in one Prince of Persia set over, where is it? Um, I'm looking through my camera, so it's, yeah, right here. And I can't even think that this would have retailed, um, well, not counting in inflation and stuff like that, for more than 20 or so bucks. So, yeah, that's just crazy. I forgot to record when I started working, but it's 12.30 a.m. And I am starting to work. I already finished the dark purple one by one plates. I've got, I've started the, <clears throat> the dark blue gray ones. These are the damaged ones. And... All of these, except for the black ones, which were from a different, from when I did the black ones, are uh, missorted by color. A lot of flat silver still in here. Here's another one. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on this now for a while and uh, try and work on this. Get uh, a couple more of these done tonight. And so tomorrow I'll be able to just quickly use the counting scale and list a whole bunch of them. It's now 1.23 a.m. and I just finished with the lime one by one plates. These are the damaged ones, so I'll put those in the garbage container over there. I'm pretty sure I got most of them from this one. Oh wait, this one has got a little bit of a mark on the one side. Put that away. But I think most of these should be good now, so then I'll put these in their bag. And I ended up getting the dark blush gray, dark purple, and transparent neon orange done and then the lime as well so then looking at what's here it's about this top container here will probably take about two more nights and then it should be done and then the blue and reddish brown and red i should be able to get done in either one night or two nights so before the end of next week all of these containers here should be done as well and uh, so i'm making good progress working here just finished breakfast, it's 1.30 p.m. and I'm just starting work now. So I got all of these down from last night that I checked for damage. I'll get these guys listed, but uh, it's gonna be the end of the vlog now. I'm gonna first edit the vlog. I might list these at the same time. And uh, thank you for watching if you got this far. And uh, yeah, if you want longer vlogs, uh, let me know. Or if you want less content or two vlogs instead of one or something like that just drop it below but thank you for watching and uh see you next time